Hi everyone and welcome back to The Hair Loss Show. In today's episode, we're gonna take a little bit of a deep dive into topical treatments. So stick around. We've talked a lot about topical treatments and we've, you know, if you go through our old uh, videos, we've talked about topical things like topical minoxidil, uh, topical finasteride, and that's great. But I just wanted to probably take a, a step back and sort of have a chat about the mechanics of it, not just looking at the, the treatment itself, but why it works, what it's trying to do and what it's trying to achieve and the mechanics of getting that molecule through the skin, all right? So we know that the skin acts as a barrier. It does that very well. It keeps the outside out and keeps the inside in and that's what we want it to do. But there are certain times that we want to basically get something, in this case a medication, and we want to, and we can use the skin as a transporting mechanism. And so uh, that's what we're trying to do. If you've got the skin, you want to be able for a molecule to be able to pass through that. Now the skin is not a pure flat surface that is impermeable. It actually has tiny little micro channels in it. And what that essentially does is it allows smaller molecules to pass through. If you're interested, the general size, you know, the size of that is about 500 Daltons, and they call it the 500 Dalton rule. And so we use that commonly. Things like uh, local anesthetics can be applied topically, and that's why it numbs the area. We know that nicotine, hence the nicotine patches, can be applied, and it's, they are smaller than the, that 500 Dalton rule. And so generally things like finasteride, which is also smaller, can pass through uh, those channels. There are certain ways to try and improve that as well, not just making sure that the size uh, is the issue. You can, uh, there's something about being lipophilic as well, and that just basically means that it likes uh, being in a, in a particular format. And if you've got a formulation that is, for example, is lipophilic, then uh, that will pass through the skin a lot more effectively. So it's not just, can we make a, get a drug and it will opt optimally pass through the, the skin, it's the formulation that's also important. So where that's made, what it's um, combined with, uh, will help uh, determine how effectively it passes through. Because if most of it's sitting on the surface, it doesn't matter how much you put, it's not gonna give you the outcome that you want. So the preparation is, is important. There's also another aspect of things of what are the additives that they use within that, uh, within that formulation. A common one is caffeine. Caffeine also helps open those channels uh, as well. And so if you've uh, increased the space in those channels, you're gonna be able to get more of those molecules being able to pass through uh, the skin and therefore the effectiveness is going to, to increase as well. And so that's there, and that's why sort of things like minoxidil works really well, finasteride works really well. The issue, and one of the things that we're sort of just trying to be able to solve through those additives and those preparations is for something like dutasteride, because dutasteride is actually quite a large molecule and is larger than that 500 Dalton uh, sort of threshold. Not too much, but it's certainly bigger than that. And so therefore, traditionally, just applying dutasteride to uh, you know, the scalp um, is not, you know, it, the, uh, the absorption is not gonna be great. And so we're looking at the preparations. Can we create these things called nanoparticles? Can we use additives like caffeine to try and boost the transport uh, of something like dutasteride across uh, the skin barrier. We've done another video on another uh, treatment modality called the Alma Ted, and what that essentially does is it opens up these channels, it create you know temporarily, and therefore you can pass larger molecules, not just the size of dutasteride, but sometimes even significantly bigger. Well, in these growth factors and peptides, we can actually get through the skin as well. So these are all um, things to to consider and understand uh, why not every single formulation of a topical uh, is, is created equally. Uh, so those are the things really to, to consider and why when we're sort of, uh, why this is becoming a novel treatment, why every year it's getting better. And really if you're getting something compounded, you need to make sure that you look at 
who the compounding pharmacy is because are they preparing it in the way that is most optimally uh, designed. All right, kind of a technical video, but I hope you found that useful. Hope it gives it some of you a bit of an insight into what we're thinking when we're using uh, topical treatments. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.